Okay, so today I am going to be creating a little, little demo on how to make a computer for you guys. As you can see, this is my computer, and I have not made too much progress since the last video, but it is the, the visual display is much more readable, and I think I'm to the point where I'm going to start making RAM in this area. But for now, I'm going to forget all that and show you guys how to make a basic computer, because I know that I've noticed that the internet seems to be very devoid of, or at least YouTube seems to be very devoid of, videos on how to do it. Okay, so first of all, you need an ALU, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. The ALU is way, way over there. I can't show you because you get bored of me watching me walk. But basically, I'm going to show you how to make one. An ALU, at least an adder, um, so ALUs are arithmetic logic units, right? Basically, they do the arithmetic for the computer, adding, subtracting, multiplying, division, and they do the logic. And if two inputs are one, output one, or if both, in, if either input is one, output one, that kind of thing. And the and and or and nor stuff is easy. It's the adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing that's tough. Actually, I have not built anything but adders as it comes to arith arithmetic. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to be showing you those today. When I build them for this computer, which will be in the far future, I will um, show you. So without further ado, first of all we need to make an adder. An adder takes three inputs, A, B, and carry in, and outputs carry out, and one. And one, basically. Um, or actually, it's considered, it's called sum. Um, so, what the carry out is is if you're adding two numbers, if you're adding nine and seven, you put a six underneath, and then that, you put that little one over the next number. That's the carry out. It basically does the same thing, except this adds in binary, which is uh, which you need to learn binary, which isn't actually that hard. Um, so, f first of all, you need for an adder, you need um, uh, 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 a couple logic gates. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're building an XOR gate. An XOR gate defines is defined by if two if the two inputs are different, the output is one. If the two inputs are the same, the output is zero. It, it's really that simple, and the design is not hard at all, actually. Um, but I think I just messed it up anyway. No, I didn't. Um, so, uh, basically, if you have you have these, the uh, inputs go into here and to here, and this will be my this will be our A and our B inputs, and if they are not the same, the output will be one. So that's the first part of our adder. Uh, the second part is going to, what what we're going to do is we're going to take another um, XOR gate and build it right here and I built it a little too close build it right here so we're just gonna go like that um, put our torches down then like that and put those there and that and that and then that oh no there goes my right stuff okay and that Okay, and so this output right here, this output is going to be our sum. Our sum is basically um, our two inputs added together uh, without the carry out, basically. It would be, if you have a 9 and a 7, it would be the 6 underneath. It would not be the 1 that's on top of the other things. It would be the 6. But for this one, it can only be 1 because we're in binary. Okay, so next of all, we uh, want to define our out inputs. So that's going to be A, and that's going to be B, and then we want to carry in. A carry in basically takes, uh, carries in from the last adder and adds to that. I hope that makes it some sense. Um, so what we're the carry in, um, these XOR 
comes out here, and then that XORs with the carrion. And if these outputs are different, I mean, if those inputs are different, the output will be 1. Um, you can go through yourself and try and figure out the logic. It's actually, I mean, if you give it a little thought, it go, you can go like, Eureka, what we're going to do is um, we're going to take the inputs and, I mean, we're going to take A and B, and we're going to AND gate them. What an AND gate is, is if both inputs are 1, the output is 1. It's, it's one of the simpler gates, and you'll be using it very commonly, especially for muxers, which I will not be getting into for an extended period of time, because those are not very important unless you're fully building a true computer. Um, so let's just extend these so we can see them. So that's an AND gate, and we're going to run that over to here. And then what we do is we do an AND gate of the carrion, which is right here, and the output of this XOR gate. So here's the output of the XOR gate. All I need to do is take this and run it over to here. Uh oh, it's dark time. I gotta finish this fix. Uh, and then we put that into an AND gate. Oops. And that AND gate, along with this AND gate, comes over to here. And we put that into an OR gate. An OR gate says if either of the inputs are 1, the output will be 1. It's, it's, it's very simple. It's the simplest gate you have in the game. And yes, if you're thinking this right now, you could just go like that. But the problem with that is you can't make it go backwards. And I, I, I'm not going to explain how that makes any sense right now. So that is an adder. Um, my, I'm just about to run out of daylight, so I'm going to reset the daylight so you guys don't get angry with me because I, I would get angry with myself too. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's our adder in full broad daylight, hooray. And um, so I'm going to demonstrate. If we have a one, so this is basically one, adding one to the adder, it's just one. And we look, we come around here and look to the back and voila, this is one. Oh, and by the way, this is one and this is two in in binary, it, this is one zero, and 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 this is just one. In uh, when you convert one zero from binary to uh, de decimal or whatever it is, tens, tens, what it, what we use right now, one zero becomes two. So this is two. So right now we have a one in, and we output one. Simple, right? Um, we have two in, and our output switches from here. To here. So this is 2, and this is 0, so 0 plus 2 is 2, right? And then we can take in our carrion and add that, and we get 2 plus 1 is 3. That is an adder. That is, that is exactly it. Now this is the output, and you run this to whatever output you want. For, the, for this case, it's the first, first um, torch right there. It runs straight to that. Well, actually, it runs through a bunch of stuff, but that's for another day. And this runs into the next adder. What you do is you'd um, see this basically is this for the next adder. This uh, cup comes out of here and goes through and does the exact same thing in the next adder as it did in this one. And you can just continue the chain. And my computer has eight of them. Yeah. And to not drag this on forever. That's how I'm going to end it today. I'll include in the description some schematics, how to read the schematics, and if I get a good enough response, I'll continue doing this. Thank you. Bye-bye.